There's one room at the University of Washington's Suzilo Library that's never hush-hush. The room where curator John Vallier plays one of 7,000 reel-to-reel tapes that are part of recording engineer Carney Barton's collection. Carney Barton really put the Seattle sound on the map. Bands like the Sonics and the Whalers, the Nirvanas and the Sound Gardens too have a lot that they owe to that sound that Carney developed. A sound that simply captured what was happening in the studio. So it's kind of a raw analog aesthetic. It's very real. Near the end of his life, Barton donated his tapes with the help of his niece, Patty. He had his own system of where each valuable item was kept. A system apparently only Carney Barton understood. His collections were all over the house, in the kitchen, in his studio, of course, but bedrooms, the pool room, all kinds of places scattered about. And here is where they all wound up. It's a time capsule of sorts. Each box offers a surprise. Oh, this is the Balakaya Orchestra, so this is Russian music. There's so many different kinds of music in here. Round the station, darkness falls. That's Ann Wilson, performing years before she joined Heart. And jazz guitar great Larry Coryell in a recording he made as a UW student. So this collection really reflects all kinds of people, all kinds of sounds. Light in the Attic hired Dan Traeger to compile these sounds into an album celebrating Barton's career. You're just looking for that thing that transcends and endures for whatever reason. All that's missing, a rumored 1961 session with Jimi Hendrix just before he enlisted in the Army. And so we still are looking for it. It could be in this pallet full of unprocessed recordings. It could be in another. A search that means this library wow! won't be completely quiet for many years to come. Can you imagine